Regina and I are here in Moab, Utah for Easter Jeep Safari and we've been invited out here by Jeep to come test drive the brand new Grand Cherokee 4xE. And so we're going to go take this for a little trip on road and off road and we'll give you our impressions. I will share my impressions from somebody that does a little bit of off-roading, but we thought it would be great fun from Regina's perspective, somebody that's raised three children on how good this is for a family car. So we've got a lot to talk about today. This thing's a beautiful vehicle and I'm excited to get behind the wheel. Today, Regina and I are spending a few hours with this Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE Overland Edition. And while this is not the more capable Trailhawk Edition, which has more aggressive tires and a few more off-road features, we were pretty surprised at how capable this Overland Edition is, but more on that later. This has a inline 2-liter turbo engine that is a plug-in hybrid. There is a large battery and two electric motors that help this Jeep deliver 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Because it is a hybrid, you can drive in all electric mode for up to 25 miles and the Grand Cherokee has an impressive 470 miles of total range. That's great for long overland trips. This has multiple terrain modes and an adjustable air suspension that can allow for up to 10.9 inches of ground clearance. Also very impressive. The one we got the keys to today is Velvet Red Pearl and has both the luxury package and the off-road package. And after spending some time getting to know the Jeep, we sat down to share our first impressions. I don't think I expected to be driving a Grand Cherokee this weekend in Moab, but I'm kind of glad I did. This is pretty cool. It is very nice. I like it a lot. A lot? A lot. So if you were going back in time, and we still had three boys, family car, would this be a contender? Well, not for three boys. If we only had two, because it doesn't have a third row. Yeah, we and don't. that was, we didn't, we couldn't have all the boys sitting yeah. next to each other, especially on long road trips. Yeah. The, he's touching me. Yeah. But I think I have to double check, but I, I'll, I'll put it down below, <laughs> but I think they're having one that has a third row, but. Oh yeah. The materials in here, it's luxurious. Very much so. Yeah. And it's got all the bells and whistles. It's got everything that you could possibly want. Yeah. And my favorite feature is on that screen back there. Yeah, that is cool. What, what, what You were <laughs> playing around with that. What did you find? Um, I don't know what it's called, but it says, are we there yet? And you can scroll through it and it has kind of how much time to your destination, how many more minutes you have to go and your arrival time. So when your kids, are we there yet? Um, just touch the screen, buddy, yeah. and you'll find out. So. Seriously, somebody was thinking that, that <laughs> yeah. was like a mom or that designed yeah, that for sure. Totally. That yeah. was, a, that's a nice touch. Yeah. Well, what do you think about the screens? You have your own screen over I there. I do. So it's phenomenal. So I can, you know, I think once my phone was connected, I couldn't use it today, but yeah. Um, I would be able to use Bluetooth, um, change radio stations, um, download and watch a movie. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I can't see it from over here, which is, nice. I mean, it's, it's a, a, sa nice a safety, safety feature. Yeah. So I'm not watching the movie while exactly. I'm driving over there. Exactly. You don't need to. I can yeah. watch my mm, chick flicks. Yeah. But the screens here are, I like this screen. It's nice size. But it's this big. one's this one's pretty cool. I like that uh, infrared, I don't know what they call it. The, the infrared. infrared. Yeah. I don't know if it's infrared, but how you can see what's in front of you. Yeah. So, I'm sure that works at night as well, which cool. is pretty cool. And uh, the sunroof is really nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is definitely, as you said, luxurious. So yeah. I yeah. like it a lot. Yeah, the it's seats. Very, it's spacious. It's comfortable. It's got lots of functions. The lumbar support, yeah. I think, is is really good because I mean I have sciatica, so sitting. Right. Um, yeah. It's just yeah. really nice. If you kind of move the controls up and down, it's almost like a back massager. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be pressing the button a lot. Oh, and but... all the seats have seat warmers, which is really cool. Yeah, even so, in the rear. Yeah. Yeah. So your kids can keep their tissues warm. Right. Uh, the storage in the back, there's a lot. Yeah. And getting in and out. Easy. And closing I'm not going to whack my head. Well, so <laughs> I discovered the safety feature on accident. I'm like, oh, what does this button do? And I pushed it and it's the automatic uh, gate lift thingy yeah. and um i didn't move fast enough and it just gently tapped me on the back and yeah. went right back up so i'm like oh that's nice so it's not gonna you know take any fingers off if your yeah. kids accidentally touch it yeah i like it you know i know that um 
you know, the seat programmable thing is pretty standard on a lot of cars, but this one has it on the passenger side too, right. which is really because we switch yeah. all the time, so, right. and your legs are a little bit longer yeah. than mine. Especially in a car like this. I mean, you're going to take this on road trips, yes. and it'll be nice to switch and be able to just hop It'd in the seat. It'd be very sure. comfortable on road trips. Oh, yeah. And I know you said going a few years back, you know, if I could have this as a mom mobile, but how many Jeeps do you have? <laughs> you <laughs> I'm don't, just you saying. Don't. Do we really need another car in the driveway? <laughs> um, for me? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. so you, this is... A... I would totally get this. Yeah. This would be nice just driving around town and yeah. date night. Date night. Yeah. I, and on a long trip, if we wanted to go like in a national forest and go just check out some direct dirt roads or something, this is yeah. pretty, got some pretty good capability. I mean, we came down this dirt road, no problem here. I really like it. Yeah. Cup holder situation could be improved a little bit in the back for the kids. There's, yeah, not as many as I would like or in the location I would like. But, okay. you know, right. no everything else totally makes up for it. Okay. Well, what do you oh. say? We take it for... Oh. Wait, I'm not done. <laughs> there's more. You can't see it, but the glove box, there's plenty of room in there, which is great when you want to shove things in there, like, okay. you know, small purses, wallets, yeah. whatever. Lots of paper towels for the kids. Yeah. Paper towels, napkins. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, and we got yeah, that's lots, of pretty, room, yeah. lots of room in here too, huh? It's pretty deep. Yeah. Yep. Lots of chargers everywhere, USB chargers. And it has the charger in the dilly bob. Yeah, it's got the wireless phone charger in the center, which is nice. Yeah, so, that. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you say we take this for a drive? All right. Let's go. Okay, so my driving impressions of the Grand Cherokee 4xe, it's very comfortable, it's very quiet, it's not like driving a Jeep Wrangler, but I think that's going to be how you and I are going to compare and contrast this, so I'll get your impressions on the way back. But they've got us on this route to go uh, to some kind of scenic spot, and this drive here is just beautiful. We're following the Colorado River, we've got the towering sandstone walls on either side of us. This is a beautiful drive, and what a perfect vehicle to be driving here. Now, I really like the seats in this thing, the steering wheel, it all just feels so comfortable. And being six foot two, I, I don't even have the seat all the way back and I have a ton of leg room. And usually in a vehicle, I push the seat all the way back and this one I don't have to. So there's a lot of room in here. I like how everything is laid out in the dash. Uh, the screens are pretty cool. I, I think it's interesting that Regina has her own screen over there as a passenger and I can't see it. It's all blacked out from my view. So that's very interesting. The steering is nice and responsive. The ride is really nice. It's, it's, you know, you're in an SUV, but it's like driving a car, an oversized car. It's not like I'm in my Jeep, which is, you know, big and brawny on the road and meant to go off-road. This is a very nice daily driver. Take the kids to school, go to the grocery store. You've got all kinds of space in the, in the back. It's a great driver. Handling this road is perfect. And the fun thing is, is this has off-road capability. So we can go hit a trail, go hit a forest road, go explore some back roads. It's got 10.9 inches of ground clearance, which is very respectable. In fact, we were coming out of the area where we were staged and we got over some pretty good obstacles. So when we head back, I'm gonna talk about the off-road capabilities of this a little bit, but first we need to get to our first checkpoint and then we're gonna let Regina drive and we'll give you her impressions. Our drive took us to the top of the LaSalle Mountain Loop, which is a beautiful drive, but after reaching the top, it was time to head back and let Regina get behind the wheel. All right, well, we were sitting in it and you really liked it. Yeah. Now you're behind the wheel. And I really like oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you like about it? Uh, it's really comfortable to drive. I mean, I love my Jeep, but I'm, I'm used to my Jeep, but this is actually a pleasure to drive. <laughs> not that my Jeep's not, this is coming out wrong, but I mean, it's it's a smooth ride, it's really comfortable, the steering is very responsive, and it's just light and over the road. Yeah, it's very smooth. Yes, I mean, this is kind of a slightly curvy road, we just came down the mountain, and it was fun to yeah. go around the curves. Yeah. How about the acceleration when you step on the gas? Oh, it goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the electric motor, so it's got some electric helping push this along. So it's got okay. quite a bit of power behind it, which is pretty cool. And we, uh, we're at 85, we're going, we're, going. <laughs> we're at 85% yeah. battery right now, because when we came down that hill, we charged yes. the battery, we got like 20% extra in the battery. And so that's yeah. the cool thing about this is, you know, you can plug this in, drive 24 to 26 miles in straight electric mode. So if you need to run to the grocery store, mm -hmm. drop the kids off, run to the Home Depot, wherever it is, you can do it in an all electric mode if it's a short drive. Right. So, you know, saving saving some fuel costs, which right now are pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think, I mean, this is not going to be 
an overlanding vehicle or a major off-road vehicle, it's going to be something that, you know, a family owns or, or maybe even, you know, just some older people who want to enjoy a nice car and, you know, I don't know, around town, go out for dates. I don't know. I think this has the potential to be an overlanding vehicle. This is the Overlander version, okay, okay. but but I mean that in in you and I go and we do some hard trails, but you can drive this across country and do some oh, yeah, easy some, back dirt roads can. and it would be fine. Just yeah, camp totally. out of it for sure. We got tons of room to throw camping gear back there. Right, but I think if you know you don't have a garage of vehicles like somebody I know, <laughs> um, and this is going to be your one vehicle, it would be a great daily driver, taking you know driving to and from work, right. going to the grocery store, doing whatever, and taking it on road trips, long road trips too, it would be very comfortable for, and taking it off road to some easier trails. And when we were coming out of the, the uh, where we met up this morning, it was pretty rough. Yeah. And it can't, went over some obstacles, so. Yeah, and we'll show these guys here in a minute because I definitely want to film going okay. over some of those because we had a lot more ground clearance than I expected it, and this handled it really well, so. It did, so I think, yeah, if this is your one vehicle and you want to, you know, city life and country life, this is perfect. Yeah. What do you like most about it? <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's the drive, I guess. It's really smooth and comfortable. Okay. It's just fun to drive. And it has all the bells and whistles. So, you know, yeah. I don't know if there's one thing I like the most about it. I mean, the sunroof. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. You like the color? I do like the color, but yellow would be better. Yeah, I don't think they have it in yellow. <laughs> a wrap. So driving the Grand Cherokee 4xe off-road. This is the Overland Edition. Very comfortable ride. It soaks up this terrain this is we're on a pretty rough road right now very well now we're on street tires and 20 inch wheels which aren't ideal for off-roading you know putting some all-terrain tires on here maybe a little bit smaller rim would be perfect for hitting some you know a little bit more technical trails you're not going to go crazy hard but we were doing some pretty good obstacles along this route and it does just fine there's some good traction control on here that helps give you some good traction there's no lockers on here and there's no sway bar disconnect i think there is on the trailhawk edition but the overland edition does really well and i'm telling you when we raise this thing up it's crazy how much this whole vehicle rises and you get so much more ground clearance it's very comfortable too i mean I'm not feeling like I've jostled around and the suspension soaks this up. I'm not going to fly down here like I'm in a Baja boat or anything like that. But it is a nice off-road vehicle. And I think, you know, if you want to go hit some back forest roads, go do some exploring. Especially in a place like this in Moab where there's some beautiful, beautiful scenic dirt roads. This is a great place to bring the family and just go explore some of these trails. Regina and I have had a blast driving the Grand Cherokee 4xe. It was cool that they let us drive it out here on the trail, but then take it on that long, beautiful scenic drive. The only problem is Regina really likes it. I don't think Not we have. <laughs> I don't know if we have room in the driveway for another vehicle, but I think if we were going to get another vehicle, something that was more good commuter, a great electric vehicle to give you some electric range. Grand Cherokee 4xe really fits the bill for us. It would be great to have the all electric mode and go commute in it to do some long cross country trips and be comfortable. And we could go hit some trails and do some camping and throw all our camping gear back there. I really like the Grand Cherokee 4xe and Regina, she really loves it. I don't think she's going to quit telling me that for a while. Nope. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed hanging out with us. We've had a blast today. Make sure you go check us out at trailrecon.com and until next time, we'll see you in the next video.